What's up everyone, Brady here with the new release of the Hot Air Balloon from Hype Aircraft on Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you've never been hot air ballooning in real life, you're going to get a taste of what it is like right now. Not just riding in one, but piloting one. Right off the bat, you're going to see some different liveries here. I'm going to go with this one. The CG is not going to be correct because it's trying to do a CG for an airplane. We're not in an airplane, we're in a balloon, so it just doesn't understand that. You can just ignore that part. Just make sure you have some fuel. And for flight conditions, I've already set my wind. I'm gonna have a winds going to the northwest, 139, from 139. And we're gonna do five knots. It usually like, you fly a balloon when it's not too windy. So we'll start with five knots and it's usually like a sunrise or a sunset. Also make sure if you have gusts, they're from the same. So our gusts are from 139 and our wind is from 139. Make sure you get those to match. Otherwise, you could have some weird stuff going on. We're just going to do a few clouds. We're going to load right in. Here's Sedona. We're going to be taking off from the Red Rock Loop Road area and head toward the Red Rock Secret Wilderness. I'll just have it start around 7 a.m. And once I get in there, we can adjust, play around with the lighting and the timing and all that. Yeah, this balloon comes with different libraries and it also comes with a user guide. It's pretty fascinating technology. I mean... All you're doing is literally just sending hot air into a balloon. So it is way too dark right now. And I did not want to start in the air. Okay, so we're going to actually go down. If you do start in the air, you can go into slew mode. That's F4. Now I'm holding down F1. And then I can also direct some things with the num numpad. All right, because we want to be like in this patch of land starting on the ground cold and dark we're gonna watch the balloon deflate and then we'll get started as if we just got into the balloon you have to watch a youtube video or something on them actually blowing up a real hot air balloon in real life it's pretty cool i don't think you start with the basket upright i believe you are laying down to the side and then once the balloon starts to inflate it actually picks you up at least that's how it was when i did it I mean, some balloons could be different. This should deflate any minute now. Let's see. Yeah, the temperature is slowly going down. You have see 80 to 86 degrees Celsius right here. I'll explain what that means. We're going to open the valve so that uh, it gets even cooler and deflates even faster. And I'll be doing this again after our flight. Beautiful little area to take off here. Unbelievable scenery. Just it's going to be a great flight. Normally you would start at sunrise. So you'd be, you'd probably actually start like before the sun even comes up. We'd probably be like around in this area, like 7, 18 AM. It's probably more accurate. The fuel is liquid propane. You have propane tanks and the, those are able to fill up the balloon with hot air. And then that makes the basket go up. Pretty simple. You have some valves here. You're able to control how much fuel is going in and some, some things like that. Then you have this rope here that actually opens a valve at the top of the balloon to let cool air in and uh, make it less hot faster, basically. OK, so now that this thing is deflated, now we're cold and dark. We're just arriving to our balloon. Small basket here. There's just uh, three of us. Got the pilot, this guy, and this girl. So just three of us. This is a much this is a smaller basket. There are bigger ones. Alright, so we're gonna get it get in now and actually start up. So we're gonna make sure our power is on. And then this will switch um, temperatures from ambient to envelope. It basically it can show data from either a sensor at the top of the envelope, which is the balloon. So whenever I say envelope, I'm referring to the balloon itself. So this can switch between the temperature from the top of the envelope or outside ambient air. So we want the envelope temperature. Okay, so we have an iPad here. I'm gonna go over that once we get into the air. Let's get up there first. Oh, and we have a radio here as well. If we wanna check the ATIS, that can check our winds. Looks like it's maybe inoperative and we've got a bag down here they did a really good job detailing this on the inside everything looks really good with the backpack the fire extinguisher there's a wrench you got all these little details in here and then there's our fireworks we're gonna fire those off as well 
that will be fun. Of course, on this display, we also have our altitude and our vertical speed. First, we're going to close this valve at the top, and then we're gonna just turn on the gas. So here we go. Now that is both of them, and we're just gonna leave that on. Now, you can see the light from the flames is already lighting up the area, which is also pretty cool. In real life, you would not be flaming the side of the balloon. Um, I think it would be, I think the basket would be on its side, but still cool. Watching it inflate is really cool, and we're about to lift off. Once there's enough hot air in there, the balloon will start to move and simply lift off the ground. There it goes. Now it's lighting up a lot of the inside of the balloon as well. It's very cool, and we have liftoff. Now we do want to keep an eye on that temperature. See, I exceeded the temperature. You don't want to do that. You don't want to go to 175. So um, I got distracted with the camera view. But basically, you just don't want the envelope to get too hot. So you need to cut off the fuel. And you give balloons fuel in increments. You know, So you turn it on when you need to. And then pull it off when you don't. When the, What's interesting is when it's not being fueled, it's so quiet and peaceful in a balloon. It is the most magical thing because you are actually going the same speed as the wind. Let's see, there's not much wind right now. Why does our wind change when it loads up? See, now we gotta put this back to the northwest. Like I had the wind set in the menu and then it loads wrong. We'll do, we'll do like four, five knots of wind and then as the sun comes up we might add a little bit more wind because that generally happens in real life anyway now that we're going the right direction when you're not uh adding fuel it is very quiet in a balloon because you're going the same speed as the wind so it's very interesting in real life extremely euphoric experience because it's you're like it's silent up there so even though you're a thousand feet off the ground two thousand three thousand four thousand plus feet high you hear nothing and you're just in complete silence just floating in the air because you are going the same speed as the wind so you don't hear or feel any wind it's absolutely wild that effect you will not feel in the simulator but everything else you can get a pretty good idea of what it's like to pilot one and what kind of planning would have to go into this because there's quite a bit of um, meteorology you would need to know for ballooning one thing that's very interesting as well is pilots are actually aware of the different levels of wind. While the winds may be one direction at a thousand feet, they could be very different at 5,000 feet or 10,000 feet. So they are able to use this to kind of steer the balloon a little bit if the winds are different aloft. They can go to different altitudes and that will help keep them on whatever course they want to be on. So pretty interesting stuff. While I'm waiting for the temperature to drop, we'll just take a look at this beautiful view here. And we're now facing downtown Sedona. Last time I was there, I actually saw hot air balloons up in the air. And uh, now I'm getting to pretend like I'm doing it. All right, I'm gonna make myself a little smaller here on the screen. Ballooning goes all the way back to 1783. It was the first successful human carrying flight. And November 1st, 1783, it was in Paris, France. So hundreds of years now, um, this, this goes back. Fascinating way to travel. Some of you have probably seen the movie Up, one of my favorite movies. And it's just very adventurous and romantic. As the sun is coming up, we're getting more and more light. However, if you are in the dark, you can always hit Alt L and use your pilot headlamp. That turns this flashlight on and off. Now we're getting a beautiful sunrise. The sun's about to rise and we're just floating. It's pretty cool. So let's check on our temperature now. If the temperature gets too low, the balloon, we're nowhere near there right now. We're still coming down to where we need to be. But if it does get too low, the balloon will actually start to deflate, obviously drop a lot. So we don't want that. So as a balloon pilot, you're constantly checking like whether you're going up or down, 
the temperature of the balloon, what the winds are doing, and planning way ahead for where you're going to land, of course. You can see we have our vertical speed here, so it's showing that we're still going up a little bit. Um, at some point, as this temperature starts to come down, this will start to come down. You are able to create nearby balloons. Let's do that right now. We're going to create like four nearby balloons, we'll say minimum 300, 200 meters, whatever, uh, maximum, we don't want them further away than 500, and create. As soon as I hit create, we'll go back to the home button. Now let's look for our other balloons. Oh, there's one right there. So how cool is that? We now have other balloons around us, which is very common when you go ballooning that you're, you know, you're going with uh, other balloons around you. So that's pretty neat that they included that feature. Now we're having a balloon party. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go back into the iPad. Not sure what Flappy Bird is. Looks like it's a game you can play, very random. Um, I guess if you get bored in your balloon, you can play this game. <laughs> so I don't know what happens if you win. I haven't done it yet. Then you have a little, little nav map, which you can connect to little nav map. You also have maps here It actually shows me where I'm going. So that's pretty cool. I mean, this GPS works really well. We're in the middle of Red Rock Loop Road, which is a common place for this company in Sedona to launch their balloon headed northwest toward Red Rock Secret Mountain Wilderness. So there's your GPS. That's really cool. Aircraft setup. You can change um, your clock time reference, clock time format, I like 24 hour, and then you can change if you just want four fireworks or you want infinite amount of fireworks. You can also change your temperature units if you want. I got to keep an eye on, I'll show you the other thing that's there, but I got to give it a little gas here because we're getting a little low on our temperature. We're probably starting to come down now. Yeah, if you look at our vertical speed, we're actually starting to come down now at 81 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to give it a little more fuel here. And that's really all you got to do. You just turn it on for a second and then cut it off. If you start to get too, uh, too much temperature, you can open this valve. That will help the temperature drop a lot faster. You see that? how much faster it's dropping now. So that's what that valve does at the very top of the balloon. It helps regulate that temperature um, to what you to where you want it. Now generally, you're looking at around 100 degrees Celsius or so as like a typical temperature for a balloon flying. Wow, look at Sedona now on our right. There's the city. There's the airport. It's beautiful views here with the sun coming up. And then when we land, we're going to drink some champagne because that's Hot air ballooning tradition. Let's go back down into the iPad. Hype radio is pretty cool. I don't know if you know about this app. I just found out about it. But if you do have it connected to your hype radio on your PC, you can listen to radio stations that are apparently local to that area. So that's pretty neat. For example, if I wake up, let's see, Sedona is two or three hours behind. So if I wake up on the East Coast here and I want to do a real time, real weather balloon flight in Sedona, I may also be able to listen to the radio station in Sedona live. So there's a lot of live stuff going on in the simulator, which is really cool. I would imagine as a balloon pilot now, you're probably using an iPad just for safety and to have these features. They did a good job with this balloon. Very detailed, beautiful. You can actually um, turn these valves. There's some other things that are clickable in here, but especially up top like all in this area, these are all movable. Um, then you have your main gas, which you can turn off and on with your mouse. I'm using my throttle for that. So the throttle does connect to that. And it looks like we are coming down, which is what we want. Now we're gonna add a little bit more wind. As time progresses, the wind is just gonna slowly pick up. And I'm basically just gonna make my way to find a spot to land. Now that you've seen what this is like, it's pretty chill. It's really quiet, um, could be meditative if you want. You can just like get out the drone cam and have fun just getting some really epic views. Put on some music. 
I don't know what's going on with these other balloons. It looks like they've gotten pretty far away from us now. So I don't know that they actually travel with our balloon. They may not. They may just stay there. I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out what temperature the balloon actually starts to deflate. We're at 69 Celsius now. I'm going to open up this valve at the top and see if I can get that temperature to drop until the balloon starts to deflate. 63. Once you get down to that like 40s, mid 40s uh, Celsius, you're going to be dropping pretty quick. Still, the balloon is maintaining its shape. There it goes. See it's starting to starting to lose its uh, figure now. So that's when you want to start adding some heat to get that back. Let's close this valve. So that was at around like low 40s. That's going to happen. And when you add fuel, you can quickly fill it right back up. You just do it in, in little spurts here. Now we are losing about but 500 feet a minute. So yeah, we're dropping pretty quick. It's pretty cool how much control you have. The one thing you can't control in a balloon is steering. You're obviously going the direction of the winds or you can go to different altitudes if you know the winds aloft and what the winds are doing, then you can maybe change directions with different winds. But uh, you're really planning your launch and your landing site based on what the wind's gonna be. So now we're starting to get like pretty low. Um, we wanna start adding heat in here because you do have to plan ahead. It will take some time for the balloon to actually level out. So you don't wanna start leveling out when you get too low to the ground because then you may not recover in time and you may hit the ground. Hopefully this guy's enjoying his flight and he leaves a good tip. They seem to be having a good time. I'm sure they're enjoying the views. Not much of a talk, not much talkers though. Really don't have, maybe they're just at a loss of words because it's just so beautiful and they have such a good pilot. Okay, 81 degrees Celsius now and we're starting to level out with our vertical speeds. Now you can see we're just barely dropping, still dropping a little bit, but now we're like, it's really cool to be low in a balloon and just kind of like floating over the trees like this. Pretty epic. I want to see if I can control like the amount of fuel going in. Is this like adding more or less? I don't know. I have to play around with that to see what exactly that's doing. So now we're starting to go back up. Again, the vertical speed will tell you how many feet per minute you're actually climbing or dropping. So now we're in a climb. Oh, I almost forgot. We got to fire off our fireworks. So let's do that real quick. Okay, I got one in my hand. I think. Yeah, I got one in my hand. Here we go. Okay, we're going to fire the firework off. Here we go. <laughs> so random. It's cool that they did this, though. All right, ready and launch. Wow, that's cool. Okay, that's pretty neat. I guess it's cooler at night. We're starting to come down to land now. We. So it does shoot, so it shoots a few off. All right, and we are coming in for landing. Probably the hardest part as a balloon pilot is finding a place to land where you're not gonna hit anything. I mean, these guys know what they're doing. They do it all the time. But do I know what I'm doing? No, probably need to go up a little bit. But I don't, see, like, I don't know if Microsoft Flight Simulator is, it could be like rendering a bunch of trees that may not actually be there in real life. I don't know. I'll do the best I can to find a place. I just love how we're just like floating above the earth right now. It's pretty epic. So you could always go up a little bit. Looks like if the wind was just a little bit more to the west, we would be golden. Let's go to like 83. There we go. 
All right, I think we might have a good place to land this way. Just, just changing the wind. Can't do that in real life. Obviously, balloon pilots would really have to know the landscape well of where they fly and like know the area really well. What's really cool about this part of Sedona is there is some dispersed camping in here, like BLM land. And if you watch one of my videos from a couple years ago, Kristen and I stayed right in there with a van, right in this area. Really neat area. Okay, here we go. We're coming in for landing. I'm going to open this up. That's going to make us drop more. Perfect landing, my friends. Right in this, we're going for this gap right here. All right, we're going to open up the valve and that's going to make us drop. Okay, perfect. All right, here we go. And we're on the ground. So it doesn't really drag. It kind of just stops on the ground. I didn't see the pilot light working. But just so you guys know what that is. What it does is it opens and closes a small valve and maintains a constant small flame enabling the main gas valve to be immediately effective without waiting for ignition. So um, I think it's it might be interoperative right now, but uh, basically it's like in a fireplace, like a gas fireplace, how you have like a little flame there that helps it light up. So that's really it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this quick flight and tour of this new balloon option. I believe it's about 15 US dollars. If you'd like it, they did a really good job with it. I really try to only purchase like people who make quality stuff and uh, this balloon was pretty quality. So now you can see it's starting to deflate and it's time to drink some champagne and just enjoy the rest of the sunrise and go have a, a whole day of adventures in Sedona. So I hope you guys enjoy that little hot air balloon flight. Definitely something I'm gonna have to try in a few other places and um, It'll be fun just to have friends to friends see if they can like successfully not run into anything. It's crazy because I remember this spot so well outside Sedona when I was there. It's so cool to go revisit these places. All right, that's it for now. Take care. <laughs>